Hello everyone, I'm Kenneth Scootworks, and today in this video I'm going to show you how to install one of our most popular accessories, the rear rack for the Buddy, the Genuine Buddy. Uh, it is available in black and is also available in chrome and it is designed to fit the Buddy 50, the 125, the 150, and the 170. This is the rear rack for the Buddy. It comes with a hardware kit, so let's pop it all open and make sure you have all the hardware available before we even start taking anything apart. If you don't have the hardware kit like this, please contact the dealer you bought it from or contact us here at Scooter Works USA. We'll be more than happy to send you out a kit. You should have two large body washers, two small body washers, a medium-sized rubber washer, a metal spacer, two lock washers, and two 5mm socket head screws or bolts. And the last piece you'll have is an acorn nut. To install this rack, we only need a few common hand tools. We're going to need a number two Phillips, a small flathead screwdriver, a ratchet with a 12 millimeter socket, and a 13 millimeter wrench, along with a, uh, the Allen key that's a 5 millimeter. If you don't have it on a socket like this, the normal L-shaped ones will work just fine. All right, so now that we're sure that we have all the hardware, and we have all our tools, then we're ready to do the job. Let's start taking the factory OEM grab rail off. Let's flip the seat up, give us a little bit of room. I like to start back over here on the trim piece. We have a little Phillips screw here. You'll find number two Phillips. Take that out, set it aside so we don't lose it. And this is a little tricky part here. What we gotta do is we gotta flip this cover up and take it off because there is a nut hiding underneath there. So just give a little tap, off it comes. Take this, set it on the side as well. So inside here you're going to see a 12 millimeter nut and we have these two 12 millimeter bolts that we need to remove. So I'm going to show you guys a little trick that we always do at the shop here so we don't lose our hardware because you never know when you might want to put this handrail back on. Spin this off, drop it. Okay, take this bolt out, drop it in there as well. And once we get this last one off, you want to kind of keep a hand on it so it doesn't fall. So hold on to it, drop this last one in, and we just lift it right off the bike. Next what I like to do is take the cover, snap it back on, put the screw back in, just tighten it up a little bit so it's not, uh, it doesn't fall out. And there you go, you have all your hardware stored in there just in case you want to put the rack back on later. Put it up on a shelf in your garage and you're all set. So now that that is all clear, we're going to start by uh, laying out some of the hardware for the rack. It's nice and easy. We're going to take these large body washers. One goes here, one goes there. We're going to take that, the rubber washer that we have, the one you have. We're going to set that on top of this right here and that's designed to protect your paint. Then we have the little metal bushing It's going to go there. And we're going to take one of the smaller washers and set it just like that. Next, we're going to take the rack, set it on top, line everybody up, make sure we're looking good, just keep a hand on it. We grab one of these socket heads, put a lock washer on it, like so. Drop it in the hole, and you may have to move the washer around to get it to the access. Just thread it in by hand, get it started, so now it'll keep everything in place. Okay. So next we're going to go to the other side and put this one in and do the same thing. We're going to line it up. Sometimes you have to give a little bit of a tug to bring it over into place, but as you can see, this one's dropping right on. Tighten it up by hand also. We don't want to tighten any of these things too much because just in case we have to move it around for alignment issues, if you have one side, one side down and tight, it may bind the other side. So we're going to take this last washer, set it on top. We're going to push down a little bit on the back of the rack, spin this on by hand. And now we have everybody has started. We're going to grab our ratchet from before and we're going to grab the five millimeter Allen key. And now we're going to tighten these guys up, run it down. They only have to have about 10 to 12 foot pounds of pressure so you don't need to, basically if you push it, tighten it up enough to collapse the lock washer, you'll be good. You don't want to tighten it too much because you may strip the uh, you may strip the frame and you strip the frame and you have a major problem. So we have this one, it's dropping down as well. And as you can see, it's all the way down, there's no gaps. 
There's nothing open. The, the body washer fills all the gaps really nicely. And this is dropped all the way down. This, this side is the same. And then on this last one here, we're going to tighten it hand tight. Take our wrench. Give it a couple turns. There we go. We're all set. You now have a rack, everybody. Thanks.